First go into your Steam library and select Company of Heroes. Right click Properties then set Launch Options. From there you can type commands, like reducing your DirectX levels by typing hyphen DX10. You can also stop intro movies by typing hyphen no movies and hyphen dev enables developer console commands. After starting Company of Heroes you will notice changes with the developer enabled. Click on online and skirmish. Then to auto match versus players. As you can see start searching is disabled and locked. Auto match with players versus AI is also disabled and locked too. This leaves only custom game enabled for developer commands. Alt tabbing before a match can cause your camera view to become unanchored. This is because alt is free view. To fix your view to the default press the backspace button twice. Control shift tilde. Pulls the console hub to view enabling commands like set sim rate to be entered modifying the speed of your squads. Selecting your squad and pressing one twice will lock the camera view, following them. With any one of your base tabs selected you can move your rally point to another location by pressing Y, you can see that your troops spawn near the closest point from in the spawn. F1 will snap your camera view to your headquarters, while space bar twice will snap to a current troop event on the map and lock the view on them. StatGraph enables a HUD on the top right of the screen so users can view graphs like FPS charts. While Taskbar Hide removes the HUD from view, Taskbar Show makes it viewable again. Are you playing games again? It's not the time to be talking to your friends. You have work to do. This command allows the FPS information to be shown in the upper right of the screen. I have this on my calculator. Retyping stat graph will remove the graph from view, also changing the set sim rate to 8 will return the game state to its default speed. I've seen old people move faster than this. Whether you're an elite gamer with max settings, or playing on a 5 year old machine. Check out this next guide. My computer. C drive Users Your computer name Documents My games Company of Heroes 2 In here you will see a file called configuration underscore system dot lua click it Select the program to run the file with I chose notepad and checked always use this Here we can see the configuration settings for the game There is a lot so I made it easier Here this is a breakdown of all the settings that relate to graphics. As you can see I set them to their minimal settings so we can modify them one at a time. We'll start with number 11. Wow, are those ants? As you can see the terrain is quite blurry as well as structures and trees. Though this does have its advantages as lower end systems should be able to handle complex fight scenes. It definitely reminds me of other older RTS titles like Age of Empires, Command and Conquer, or Warcraft 3. This time we will set number 17 to its max settings and view the results. Right now I would rather jump off a cliff. Structures, trees and character models all have more details with the world view quality increased. I don't think it worked, they still look really bad. Number 16, with this next graphic option lowering it to zero increases it to its max setting. Immediately you can see the detail in the terrain has increased. No longer does it feel like the character models are floating. Creating a field of depth to the game. I've seen more depth in a Shyamalan movie. This is still really bad for 2013. Number 42. Terrain Detail. This is a mid-range setting where most gamers will choose to stop with. Maxing at 3. With this setting enable grass and flowers can be seen scattered across the map. 
adding a sense of realism without too much of a cost to performance. I am sure the guys will really love the pretty flowers. It's not half bad. I could get the girls to play this during Jenny's baby shower next week sometime. Enabling everything to its max settings can crush even the greatest machines. Please test these settings in a custom map before playing with other players in battle. Can't you just play the game? Character models almost disappear in the scenery as they pass through the dense shadows and foliage. Smoke can be seen in the air. And reflections of trees can be seen in the water. I'm reflecting on my life right now. After finishing a match you hit the back button instead of save the replay. Don't worry I'll show you how to fix this in this next guide. In your Company of Heroes 2 folder select Playback and copy the temp rec file in your directory. After you have pasted the copy of temp.rec you can name it to something you like. Balls.rec. Oops I mean. Missed save. Sounds great. Now enter the game and select replay. There you will see your missed save. From here you can either watch or play again. A black game screen can happen for several reasons, but most likely are due to a missing or corrupt configuration file. It may be necessary to delete your Company of Heroes folder. Just delete it all. It's a boring game anyway. Running as administrator and restarting Company of Heroes 2 from the game library should repopulate the information needed to run the game from its default setting. Lastly if for some reason only your configuration underscore system dot lua file needs to be replaced. Pastebin.com has the source code available to copy at any time. Boring. I'm going to watch some Netflix now. Boy I'm laggy. Wait. Oh god please don't kick me it's my net I swear. Please don't. Damn.